Good day, friends. Good afternoon. It's absolutely beautiful day here. Here, wherever I am. And I wish you the same, wherever you are. Today's chat is related with the owning the stuff. Owning material goods, owning the land, owning our children. So the title is quite simple. Is ownership going to bring you a salvation? Salvation in the terms of not being able to accept that what you have in life is sufficient, that you're always urging to get more, to get bigger, house, car, belly button, right? account, wallet, and so on. Did you ever consider truly asking yourself who owns your house yes you're paying for it but who really owns it who owns your car even if you paid fully in the cash or whatever funds that you have you don't have any debts on the car but is the car registered to some corporation called your government your transportation office or same with children who owns your children why they are so insisting in the hospital when the child is born to be named and to be signed off with both parents one is enough if the other one doesn't agree so the child is actually even not yours as soon as you register it with the name. And what people go even deeper, who owns your soul? When you get baptized in a church, in a very early stage, and they increasing a demand from the, well, I'm talking from Catholic church, mostly, that the baby has to be baptized before one year, 12 months of age. So you already assign the baby to the government, that it owns it. Now, physical baby, let's say the body, and the old, the, the old future energies that the baby will bring into the this life, it will bring tremendous amount of the energy that even doesn't belong to the baby or later to the person. So when the soul is signed off to some kind of institution, let's call it secret society of sacrificers of little babies, known in these worlds as Catholic Roman Catholic Church simply by baptizing it seems very simple process the babies are flushed with the water over the forehead and whatever the cross is made on top of the forehead on top of their chest and so on what are these rituals for When the priest gives a cross over your forehead, I don't even want to show it on myself, but you know what I'm talking about. Or when you're crossing yourself on your chest, doesn't matter if you go from left to right, up and down, you're doing actually forceful opening of your energetics by your own free will. And you're getting here. This is my soul. Here, this is my mind. I'm opening this to you. 
whoever these things are, they're presenting themselves as a government officials or religious leaders or just a priest. He's just following the routine and hoarding the cattle known as humans in this world. We're the most stupid cattle. Cattle knows that it's going to be sacrificed. You don't. Or most of the humanity have no fucking idea. So how do you expect some of us to tell you the truth without being very, very agitated at telling this for years, for hundreds of years, in a different formation of our writing and music, speeches and so on and with very limited response that we end up we free and sovereign beings who are talking nothing else but the truth been before sacrificed killed expelled ridiculized and so on so I cannot go against these freaks of nature, but I can appeal to your humanity to start realizing that salvation will not come from you owning a thing, any single material thing, or you owning a, ma a control of any other person, doesn't matter, is it your child? Is it your employees or is it your, doesn't matter, partner, spouse, whoever. This is without you being consciously knowing that you're involved in the massive mind programming techniques that are coming from all over, from all different directions. Mostly from underground. Mostly from the alien beings who infuse themselves within the humanity, pretending they are one of us. And they come in a different disguises, different forms. It can be a Pope, it can be a Prime Minister, it can be your, let's say, a good friend who will introduce you to the new uh, ways of how to earn a quick money. Who will entice you to become more greedy than you were before. Another question is, who really owns your day? Who owns the time that you have it in this 12, 16 hours that you, when you wake up in the morning and what you plan to do and what you have to do for what reasons and what are the uh, results when you do these things and who's actually planning these things for you. You think you're planning that you go to work 9 to 5 or whatever. The, the, the shift you're working on? No, this is not you. You just confine yourself into being a slave. Your energy deliverer, your energy producer. So what else I can tell you without really insulting you? Stop owning anything material because this ownership behavior brings you into a level of total slave because they're fishing all of your energies out of you by the contracts you go buy a house which you don't own but you agree to pay it day in day out through 30 years of time doesn't matter in, in all Western world is all based on this. You right away put your soul into debt, your energetics. How you can help yourself 
to get out of this if you don't relinquish all the ownership needs. Start dropping second car. Start dropping a first car that it goes on the gasoline. Start dropping or start making a decision that you do not have to pay for something that it's material. Simply by start owning your integrity. When you have a bit more integrity, suddenly your courage becomes more pronounced. When your courage is more pronounced, you start saying much more openly what you do not agree. It's one thing that you're saying, no, no, I don't want to be raped if I go in a dark alley. But what if I tell you that you raped every single morning when you wake up until you go to bed? And even at night, you're giving a freedom to freaking aliens to come at night and abduct you, abduct you, to take you away. And they bring you back with new package of the information or programs or implants so you will respond when they tell you you have to freak out now and you'll find something to freak out. Ooh, I have to own this, I have to own that, I have to be there because I am short in time, I am always late, I have no time. Of course you have time. Of course we have all what we choose to have. But I'm talking about your own energy that you create, not some really fakery of money in the, in the bank or accounts or houses or cars or even having a control over somebody else. Especially mothers have this very dark notion of controlling their children to the point when they are already like almost dying but they still want to control what their children are doing because they gave the birth to them. Let's start practicing releasing the right to own anything. Be courageous enough to share your real ownership, which is I own my sovereignty. I own my freedom. I own my own free choice. Am I going to have have I have to go to work every day? Do I need to have three cars and a hundred meter square living space and a cottage on the side and two mistresses on the side and so on? Do you have to? Yes, maybe. If you want to be a uh, common thief and then stealing from everybody else to support your needs. But when you start owning your moral ground, your moral stand, your when you start owning your true energy, you start owning it, meaning do not relinquish it so easily to all the freaks they are coming around to you then you will start living.